Let's move on now to a crazy idea back in the day, the Commonwealth. Ed, this is a story in Monday's Times. Um, the future of the Commonwealth. It, basically, the story details how, um, let, let's just say, when Prince Charles um, becomes king, there will be less of a pull for nations to be part of the Commonwealth. And there are certainly rumblings that Australia and Jamaica and places like that will no longer want to be part of the Commonwealth. Um, and t to a certain degree, I think it's, they've got a fair point, really. Um, ultimately, it, the, the difficulty with with these things is who is your head of state, you know, um, because the head of state doesn't really do a great deal usually. They open a lot of supermarkets. <laughs> you, you know, and do you want a tired politician, you know, ex-politician opening your supermarkets or do you want something colourful and, you know... Regal. Regal and wonderful... Um, opening your opening opening your supermarket. Someone like Prince Andrew, for example. Yeah, well, possibly. <laughs> Who opened my uh, little two weeks ago? Oh, did he? Did he? Really interestingly. <laughs> was he wearing a false moustache? He just he wants was, to yeah. feel. He just <laughs> wants to feel <laughs> alive again. <laughs> He's doing some royal duties. Well, I spotted him because he was the only one not sweating. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. He doesn't sweat. But but, yeah. but this is the point, and your argument is that the Queen has been the glue that has held the Commonwealth together, in her absence, you know, the, the, the box office is gone. I think there's an element of truth in that. Mm. Um, the difficulty is is we will find out, won't we? We will find out. I mean, look, I think the Commonwealth has great value for this country, and I think it's great for Commonwealth countries too, Leo. It would be a shame if it disbanded. Yeah, but the Queen seems to be, the, as you say, the glue that, that held it together. She's immensely passionate about the Commonwealth. And Prince Charles doesn't seem to care. So there's a worry that, you know, Jamaica, there's already rumblings of, of certain countries leaving Jamaica, Australia, they could become republics. Well, he's probably ashamed of our colonial past. Yeah, he probably is. So yeah. I mean, Another, another self-loathing Brit. Maybe we should skip... Our next king. Maybe we should skip a few people and just go straight from the Queen to me. Let me have a go. <laughs> I'll have a go. What about little Prince Louis? Because he says it like it is, doesn't he? He does. You, you'll have seen his behaviour at the Queen's Jubilee celebrations. Yeah. A lot of sass. Yeah. Screaming his of head off throughout Brian May. <laughs> I like that. A bit of honesty. I, I mean, the Commonwealth, the bottom line is that I think it's a great thing uh, for, for nations to be part of it because it connects all of us with our past, good and bad and indifferent. But also it's a great opportunity for trade and diplomacy, Leo. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, I mean, I, I'm going to put it out there. The Commonwealth is a force for good. You, yeah. you can debate our colonial past. I don't think you can debate the Commonwealth, can you? And I think there is a, a shared culture and shared values between Commonwealth well, countries. Isn't it a cushy private members club in which it's <laughs> like, you know, it's like the Masons, isn't it? I, I but without, without the nipples. <laughs> I, I, just don't, I just don't see any... I, I, maybe I'm blind. Maybe I'm... What, what, you don't see what? I don't see anything really very much in the Commonwealth. You don't? I mean, we've got the Commonwealth Games, you've got this sort of bilateral agreements with Commonwealth countries trade, that kind of thing. But you'd have those anyway, wouldn't you? I just wonder whether having a club facilitates better relations. Yeah, with a, with a fancy coat of arms. You know, like, you know, like <laughs> those... <laughs> Edward, like those fancy showbiz clubs that you and Leo are members of. Yeah. Where oh, you right. run into yeah, the yeah. toilets every yeah. ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> to, uh, Never having that prawn uh, again. To powder your noses. <laughs>